What's up there, YouTube? Okay, so today I'm going to be putting my uh, GoPro on my bike and going out to Daytona for a bike week. So I'm not putting on my bike. I'm not. I'm putting the, the action camera on the helmet here real quick and doing some vlogging. Heading out to Bike Week for its uh, Bike Week 2020 in Daytona. Heading that way now. So this is what my vlogging setup looks like on my helmet. So basically, I mount this thing with the action camera and then I run the helmet microphone up underneath and it's run to the action camera so that while I'm recording, there's got a USB microphone that's plugged into the action camera and I can talk to it and vlog. So for my moto vlogs, that's how I do it. And I shoot it at 4K, 25 feet. All right, so vlog time. Let me adjust my camera, make sure it's got a good shot of me. Let's see, yeah, it's pretty good. I can tilt it up a little bit. It should be tilted up a little bit higher, I think. But I can't get it to do that. That's just it, unless I do something else. Yeah. Either way, it's cool. It's good. It's good. So I'm headed out to Bike Week in Daytona. Whoa! Drop my glove. Bike Week in Daytona for um, I don't know how many times I've been here. <laughs> I go. I go every. I went every year for years, and then uh, I quit. I got. I. Stopped going with my friends. I was going with my friends, you know, uh, and then uh, you know how it is when you kind of get away from doing stuff with your friends as you get a little older. You got other life things going on in your life. You don't have a whole lot of time for hanging out, riding motorcycles, but. I figure it's high time I started doing it again. So that's why I got this motorcycle. And this is my first bike week on the bike. I bought this motorcycle in August of, August of just this last year. So I've had it for about six months or so. And uh, you know, you've seen the first videos I have made on it. Um, and how I've really enjoyed riding it. I enjoy quite a bit, but um, this is my first time actually, because it's uh, March, bike week is from March 6th through the 15th, I think. And I have a wedding on the 14th. Normally I go the second, sa the second uh, Sunday or Saturday, but I have a wedding on uh, March on that next next uh, the fourteenth. I have a wedding, which is next Saturday, so I can't go next Saturday. I'll I'll be at a wedding, so I won't I won't be able to go to go down here to Bike Week. So I wanted to go today, and I'll I'll probably go a couple times this week during the day when it's warm. Um, it was it was very cold yesterday. I was going to go yesterday, but I told my daughter and son-in-law I'd watch my grandson while they went and they they just drove on in cars. They drove the car down there, which see, when I go to Bike Week, I don't go to the bars and the strip. I can go, I might go down the strip and drive through there once, but I don't like driving, sitting through traffic. I'm not... I'm not going there to show off and sit through traffic. I go, I go to go to the, the tents and see all the, the, the gear and the new, the new motorcycles and the new stuff. I don't go, I don't go there to, um, I don't go to bike week because I want to go, uh, you know, show off my motorcycle and, and ride go up and down a strip and 
drink beer and hang out at bars and stuff. I don't do that because I don't I don't hang out at bars anyway. I never liked bars. I don't really care about hanging out at bars. I don't drink. I mean, I drink, but I don't very drink very little. Once in a once in a blue moon, I'll have a drink. I don't. I just I'm not much of a drinker. So it's not that I don't. Yeah, I I'm I don't I don't care. I could care less about drinking a bunch of beer or a bunch of liquor or anything. Having a drink is the last thing I think of at the end, of, you know, after working or whatever. I don't think, hey, I want to have, I can't wait to have a beer. Once in a while, if I'm doing yard work, like I'm outside cutting the grass and stuff, I want a nice cold beer by the swimming pool after I'm done. But that's once in a once, I mean, every once in a great, I could, I could probably do yard work five times and one of those times be like, ah, eh, I can go for a beer right now. You know, it's one of those things where I'm not, I don't, I've, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not easily addicted to anything. You know, I don't have, I don't have a whole lot of vices as far as that stuff, that type of stuff goes, like drinking, smoking, stuff like that. I don't have a lot of vices. I don't, my vice is this, riding the motorcycle. I would rather ride the motorcycle or, or or go fishing or, you know, take my drone out, my cameras out, go shoot some photos and videos or something, you know? I'd rather do that than, than, uh, I'd rather do that than, than drink or go to a bar and sit there and listen to music and hang out. I just don't, that's like my least favorite thing to do. I would not want to do that. I, I could care less about doing that. I don't want to go there and, sit around and drink beer, drink drinks, shit. I'm just not into that. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. The highway's right up here. It's a, it's about a 30 minute ride for me. It's pretty cloudy out here today. Uh, it might rain. I might get a little rain on the way back, but whatever. All right, so I had to turn my, had to put my cruise control on real quick down here so I could use my right hand to turn the camera back on because I forgot I had to set the cruise to turn the camera on so I can turn the cruise off. Anyway, I thought I'd talk again. I don't know if you can hear the music, but I uh, thought I'd have a little more discussion with you guys about what I'm going here for. I feel, I feel like, well, he's not, he's not going to Daytona. He's not going to Daytona because he wants to uh, uh, go to the bars and stuff, then what are you going there for? I mean, is that what Bike Week's all about? You know, going down the strip and hanging out and seeing all the all the cruisers and all the different crazy bikes and stuff and hanging out with a bunch of people? No, actually it's not. <laughs> for me it's not. Uh, I went, uh, ever since when I, when I first started going years ago, back in the 90s, I rode my bike all the way down from Atlanta several times, a bunch of times. And I beat my buddy who lived down here in Jacksonville. We lived down in Jacksonville and we'd, I'd spend the night there. We'd get up the next day and go out to uh, the bike week the next morning. We always went that Saturday and Sunday. So Friday I'd drive down and get down here you know, after work on Friday and hang out with him we go out and get something to eat or whatever, and then the next day you get up and go to bike week. The weekend, the second weekend, we watched the race, the Daytona 200. We went for the Daytona 200 race, and, uh, and we went to the tents. We didn't even go to the strip. We went to the strip a few times, and there was nothing there for us, so we'd go, we'd go there. We'd go out to eat and hang out and go look at the, I'd rather go to the tents and see all the gear that they have, see the gloves and like I bought a hunting Garrick jacket uh, pants one year, or just the, just the jacket. I got the jacket one year because I was on my way down, it was March, uh, you know, March the 12th or 13th or whatever before the weekend. And uh, I was, uh, we were on our way down, we hit rain and, and it was freezing and it was raining. It was terrible all the way down. 
and I got soaked. I, was, I had a leather jacket, and I just got soaked. I didn't feel like, you know, by the time I pull over, it starts raining, I pull over, put the rain suit on, I'm already soaked by that, you know? So I thought, I need a jacket that's, that's a good jacket. It's got protection, but it's also weatherproof, waterproof. So when I went down there to the bike week to the to the tents, I found a deal, you know, uh, there's all these, all these uh, vendors there, and one of them had a high gig, high and dry jacket. They didn't have pants that were fit, but they had the jacket. They had pants that go with it, but they didn't have something in my size. So they had the jacket, I think it was on sale like half price. So instead of $350, like $170 or something like that. So I bought it. I was I was excited. And on the way back, it, it rained and sleeted. It was freezing rain on the way back, and I had that jacket on. And I remember my buddy Bruce, we were on our way back. We were riding back together. And I was like, my, my windshield, my shield on my bike, I can't wipe off my face shield. I was like, my face shield, so I can't wipe the rain off. It was raining. So we pulled over. He pulls over, he goes, Mike, he goes, this isn't rain, this is freezing rain. We got ice on our plane. So I was like, yeah, it's, we were covered in ice. Our, our, our arms and everything, hands, it was all covered with ice. As you bend your knuckles, you could see the ice was breaking off. And it, our shields were icing up. So it's like, we got to stop. We got to stop off and get a, uh, get a hotel, get a motel. It's just stupid. It's not worth risking your life over to get back. We're in South Georgia, Tipton. So we pulled over, we got, went to a hotel. And when I was in the hotel, uh, I got I got off the bike, you know, went inside. When I opened my jacket, the Hungarian jacket, I was completely dry and warm inside the jacket. It was perfect. It was warm. I could feel the heat when I put my my hand in the jacket, it was warm. My body was warm. My upper body was perfect. I was like, this is the best jacket I ever got. This thing's awesome. So, uh, so that that's why I go. I go to, I'm looking for, and what I'm looking for this year is gloves. I'm looking for some other gloves, you know, some, some more gloves, not so much gloves, but just different ones, maybe something better. Uh, boots, because right now I wear uh, carbon fiber toed. They're like work boots, though. They're not really, they're, but they're above the ankle. Leather boots, they're good boots, but they're like work boots. They're not really riding boots. They don't have the, the grip the way you ship, although I don't ship as much anymore with this bike because of the auto grip shifter. But I still ship. You still got to put it in gear, put it from, you know, first to second. I shift it from first to second every time. But it's got like ankle protection and you know, side impact protection, which is what the work boots don't really have that. They're not really made for um, for riding a motorcycle. They work, but they're not made for riding a motorcycle. So I was looking for some boots and I'm looking for a new helmet and possibly a new Bluetooth system or a uh, new speakers for my Bluetooth system, for my helmet system. Because these work good, but I was watching, looking at reviews of different ones, and there's like some speakers you can buy through Amazon. They're called iASIS something three, iASIS something, system three or something. But they're like, a, they're like a bigger, more powerful, uh, speakers that you could actually hook up to your Bluetooth system so you can hear your music better. And uh, that I like. Those are like a hundred bucks. But I might see what they, they might even have a booth down here. I'd be selling them down here. Maybe I'll pick them up or have a discount, you know, a, a, a bike week discount down here. You never know. So there's that. And then the helmet. This helmet that I wear now is a, uh, you saw the the video there. It's a, it's the LS2. I forget the stream or something. It's like a basic. It's like the the basic helmet, but for a basic helmet, it has pin lock on it, which I mean even 
or five, there's five and six hundred dollar helmets without pin lock, and it's that's a plastic piece that goes behind the shield to keep it from fogging up. And it has the little pins in it that you can adjust it to, to, for the air gun. It's got pin lock. This helmet has it, and the shield's real thick on this. It's a good shield. But it has the drop down sunglasses and stuff like that, which I like. I saw people complaining about online when I'm looking up helmet reviews. They're like, ah, I don't like the drop down sunglasses. I'd rather wear my sunglasses. Well, that's good, but if you wear glasses, if you wear glasses, you probably, uh, you probably appreciate the drop down sunglasses a lot better. You just wear regular glasses and then you'll just drop down the sunglasses whenever you want to. Look at all the bikes and cars over there. Anyway, we got a lot of traffic. I wonder what's going on over there. Just a lot of traffic. Anyway, so uh, so I like the, the drop down shield on mine. I like the drop down sunglasses. I mean, oh, and the other thing is, I see a lot of people complain about the quick latch. It's got this ratcheting quick latch. You just, uh, you just put the, uh, the, the strap has just a, a ratchet. You just push it up in there and it latches and clicks until it's tight. Then it's got another little top lever thing you pull and it just pulls out. I love that. I can almost do this helmet with gloves on. I can almost put, like, if, you know, you forget to put your gloves on. That's a sign of a first-time rider is they'll put their gloves on and they go to put their helmet on they can't strap it because the V-rings, you can't, you can't put the strap through the little V-rings and pull it tight with gloves. <laughs> so you'll see them all the time, put their gloves on, reach over, get their helmet, put their helmet on, and then they can't get when they can't do it, so they have to take the gloves back off. It's funny. You spot a beginner rider that way. Well, this ratchet style, I love it. You just put it up, you push it up in there. I can practically do it with gloves on. I, I still am used to doing, put my gloves on last before I take off, but still, you know, I always put my helmet on first, zip up my jacket, and do all that stuff, and then put my gloves on. Pretty cloudy out here today. There's a guy on a trike. Damn him. Anyway, so uh, I would like a, a more this. I'm sure this helmet. I mean, it's okay, but I would like a like a more quiet helmet, a quieter helmet. You know, this one's good. But it's not that good. And everybody's like, well, it's, you know, well, it, it's not snow rated. But yeah, this one isn't snow rated because of the flip down sh the sunglasses, from what I understand. From what I understand, they can't snow rate any helmets with a flip down sun shield. They just don't, they don't pass the snow rating. Well, then I won't have a snow rating on my helmet anyway. So I don't care if it has. If it has, this, this helmet that I have is dot N E C E. It's actually a good helmet. But I think it's louder than like a, a, a good showy or a rye or something. Although a rye is actually not all that all that quiet. I've had I've had showies and a rye helmets. I had an RF twelve hundred and a a rye, I forget which one the rye was. But both my showy and my rye were painful to wear after like an hour. They're just too tight on my forehead. I guess I don't get the right size helmet. I need a larger helmet. I got a big ass head. So that's another thing. I'll look for another helmet. This one here, I can go, I can drive an hour and I don't know if my head doesn't hurt. But if I drive like two hours, like an hour and 40 minutes or so, my head will hurt even in this helmet. It's, this helmet's a little too, a little too small, but it, it's doable. This is a much better, this actually is more comfortable for me than my Shelby or the Araya ever was. 
I was surprised when I put it on how well it actually fit. But I could feel the pressure on my forehead already. My head is long front to back. I've got a bump thing in the back of my head that causes my helmets to cause me to need a, a bigger, a longer helmet, bigger helmet. I wear like a 2XL or something. I wear a big helmet. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot tall. Right at six, five eleven and three quarters or something. Right at six feet. 220 pounds. I'm a big guy. I'm not a little guy. I drive a, I drive a big bike. <laughs> everybody, everybody that sees, that sees me on this bike, when they see this bike, they're like, God, that thing's so tall. It's a high bike. I'm like, yeah, I'm tall. It doesn't bother me. It's, it's perfect for me. It's comfortable to me. But anyway, uh, so a helmet would be another one I would look at. I want to look at helmets. Uh, I need a new mount for my phone. I don't like this mount because it, the, it covers the quarters and I can't get to the, the quarter thing to, to do stuff when I'm riding because these rubber pieces. This is basically a, this, this thing basically is for a bicycle. I bought it for a bicycle and then I just, I was like, well, I've got that. I can use that for now on my motorcycle. So I stuck it on my motorcycle. I need that one that's a, the, the ramp mount with the X where you just squeeze it out in the grass and spring load it. It's quick. That would be perfect. Oh, it's not too bad out here. It's more cloudy. I'm almost in Daytona. See, I'm Holly Hill, Daytona Beach. I'm almost there now. Getting there, getting there. Get myself clear there. See if the camera's still recording. I'm sure it is. Anyway, I guess I'll just let it run until I get there. It's a 30 minute video. I'll cut this thing down. I'll just let it run for 30 minutes. Because I'm almost here anyway. That's the first day Tona exit right there. See, that's basically, I turned this on uh, right after I got on the highway. So that's how close I am. I'm about 30, 35 minutes from Daytona. So I'm pretty close to Daytona, which is nice. I've uh, heard a bunch of times I rode down from Atlanta. You know, you're looking at six, eight hours, seven hours to ride down here from Atlanta. And now it's 30 minutes for me. I love it. <laughs> so I can come several times during a week if I want to. If I see something and I think about it and I go home, I might come down here like tomorrow or Tuesday or Wednesday. I get it and then go back. I might come another day. Come down during the day one of those days. So this is the exit up here. Looks like get off on the exit. Let's do the bikers. The Daytona Beach, Daytona. All these people are lining up for this exit. I'm gonna pull up here and get over. I'll pass a bunch up first. I think there's two lanes here. I don't think I can get it. You have to get in one lane to get over. I don't want to sit in this long line. A lot of these people are going to the I-4. Oh, here they go. There we go. Just getting the left side here. Okay, just go right here. goes up over the bridge and then it loops around and the speedway's over there on the left.
Here we go. Yeah, I'm just downshifting by pushing down on it. Yeah, this is it. You just go right here, right in this corner, and you're right here at the at the speedway. Thought I'd take you guys on a little ride to show you how close I am to Daytona. Brag about how close I am to the speedway. probably going back so this is Daytona right here you just go straight down the speedways up here on the right see all the bikes there at the thing the international speedway should be up here It's a heezy. Waffle House. pretty bike it's a pretty motorcycle I like that I wouldn't ride around without a helmet but that's his business See the tents over here, Honda and all this LS3 garage challenger stuff, all these tents. Should be bike parking over here somewhere. Right over here on the right. See all these tents over here? This is what I come here for. I don't go to this I don't go to that stuff. I come for these. For this.
forgot to add some Doobie Brothers to my list of music. <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day. over there in park. There's over there in park over here.
All right. All right, so I just got here at Bike Week. There's tons of bikes, tons of stuff. I just got off. I got these little car things over here. These things are like Vanderhall Motor Works. Little three wheeler car thing. Not a big fan, but I'm going to the Kawasaki trailer because I drove a Kawasaki. Okay, so I know I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging while I was down here, but I did buy some pants in my bag some ventilated pants with a rain liner that zips out so I can have rain pants. That's really the biggest thing I hate about riding is when, when if I ride in the rain, I don't mind if my shirt or jacket gets wet, but when my pants get all wet, it takes long for them to dry. So I got some lined pants. <laughs> 